and welcome to Land Rover First 15 Rugby. Today we are in Christchurch for this top of the table clash between two of the top teams in the UC competition. Here's the St Andrews team who are also right up the top of the table and they've got some good players too. Their fullback is Sam Gilbert, a very good goal kicker. But the real strength of this team is number 12 and number 13, Atahi Bagali and uh, Raymond Nu'u. And uh, their captain is the lock forward, George Murphy. George, you guys are having an excellent season so far, undefeated. What do you put it down to? Yeah, and I put it down to hard work and good coaching, really. You know, this season's been based on hard work and we've done a lot of, had a good pre-season block and, yeah, really pleased so far. And where do your strengths lie over Christchurch boys today? Uh, we believe we'll get boys high up front, really, in the front row in the top five, so we'll attack them there. Now, last time you guys met was last season and you didn't quite pull off a win, but what have you learned since then? Last season was disappointing. We uh, had a few harsh lessons throughout. Um, boys were one of those. And, you know, we've learned a lot from this last season. We've got 14 guys back. And, yeah, I think that's all motivation, really. All motivation for a good game today. Well, we are excited. All the best for the game. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, that's one of the key things, isn't it? Uh, the number of boys who come back from being in the first 15 in the previous season or even seasons. Uh, to make uh, perhaps three years playing at the top level in secondary schools rugby. So a lot of good things happening in the colours of St Andrews and in the rugby programming. Many forward-thinking things taking place here. The college was actually established uh, in 1917 by some very enthusiastic um, stalwarts from Scotland. Since I was year nine, I always looked up to assistant captains, and I've uh, spent a long time at Andrews. My thirteenth year, I've been through the prep school, and yeah, it sticks my life really. So it's definitely a huge honour to captain the team in my last year. I've been at St Andrews College for fifteen years. Um, I coach the, the first fifteen rugby team and also the first eleven cricket team. This team at the moment is looking looking to shape us. Probably probably one of the better teams we've had. This team seems to have a, a, a better balance a, a, about it and, you know, we don't really have a, a lot of weaknesses within the side. We start off with a really good pre-season programme um, with Rod McIntosh being involved with us. Um, our strength and conditioning was a, was a big factor this year. St Andrews is a pretty uh, exceptional school, so what they were after in terms of some rugby development and, and the schools I brought to the table sort of came together. He's really taken Stack Rugby to another level and I think the results sort of reflect the work that he's done. He's just made the environment so much professional and it's just really, really, he's really inspirational Rod, to be honest. Yeah, he implemented lots of um, strategies of how we can improve our game. He was real detailed about it and I reckon that's why we've been pretty successful. You know, often you see kids go and work, work on what they're good at. Now they're going to practice their goal kicking. Now I'm telling them you need to work on what you're not good at. And if that's English, then you've got to work on English. If it's maths, you've got to work on maths. You know, the coaching staff here are excellent with developing people's skills. I think for me personally, you know, I've really, really benefited from that and uh, onwards and upwards. You know, I've only been here for a short amount of time, but there's a little bit, a lot of talk about it and a lot of talk about boys high being, you know, really strong in this division. I think it's just a great opportunity for St Andrews to put their foot on the map and really give it a good shot. The boys hired said the benchmark in Christchurch rugby for a long time now and they haven't lost a game in Christchurch for a number of years so it'll be huge, especially on our home track, to get a win over them. In my 15 years of coaching we've had a lot of uh, ups and downs. We've beaten them a couple of times, uh, once in 2003 and once in 2008 and you know, I think this year is going to be a real tight contest. We have nothing to lose. Well, if you remember uh, Rod McIntosh, a very fine player for Waikato and New Zealand Sevens and very prominent in Hong Kong as well. It's director of uh, Rugby here at St Andrews. And look at the crowd this game has pulled in. But it's, it's closer than that with the penalty calls. Well, it's not a bad option at all, really. He's still keeping them down at that end of the park as we see a knock on. Whoa! And exactly that has happened. An offside call for the ball being knocked forward and played again by Boys High. And Gilbert again will have the shot. 
Oh, tapped in player in the air, was it? Yes, oh, I think okay. it was, Keith, tapped yeah. In. Yeah, here we go. Let's look at this. Skipper, where's he gone? You've got to let him come down. Where'd he go? Yep, yeah, you've got to... Just be careful. We hey. see Sam Gilbert, who gets another chance. Yes, six, and six and a half minutes to go. Pressure. Keith beautifully taken. They gave him another chance. And so if they kick it out this time, that might be the end of the game. And the fantastic record of 27 wins in a row by Boys High will have been turned over. And the first win since 2003 by St Andrews will go into the record books. But who's got the ball? It's kicked out. And it's a famous victory for Stan. St Andrews College. A famous victory, but for Christchurch Boys High, it's a case of all good things must come to an end. 27 games in a row without defeat. And St Andrews College with a late, wonderful pressure kept by that young man there. With the right here in front of us, Sam Gilbert, who's hugging everybody he can get near, has given the home team the win by one point, 25 to 24. Oh. beauty lots of highlights let's go through them starting with the try to josh mckay i said he played a big role in the game he sure did didn't he brendan yeah, he certainly did he's a very balanced footballer and he got his team started off well and then the st andrews boys started rumbling up front and we saw nice low body positions and in the pick number eight the man of the match tanavasa nice low body position and in for his first try there it is there, nice and low, stretched out, great try. And then just before halftime, this beautiful line-out move, Adams to Houston to Evans, and then Jackson Watt put them over for the try, and that made them 14 to 8 to Boyce High. There it is again, look at that, right out of the textbooks, right off the training track, and a very good try taken indeed. 19 to 8 to Boyce High. Uh, after this try by Josh McCoy. Yeah, he's back in the action again, wasn't he, Keith? This is, he really is their go-to guy. And then we saw the big number eight again, getting his brace. Once again, nice low body position and a fantastic try. Really got them back in the game. And this was, well, it really was the try of the game for me. Beautiful running by McCoy again. And then the lovely in-ball to Houston, who really was a strong runner today as well. Fantastically taken try. Well, I think at this stage you might have said at 24 to 15 that Boys High would continue their winning sequence. But look at the tremendous fight back by St Andrews College. And we see the flank forward of Francis go over, uh, Leighton Francis, and uh, that closed the gap. And then we had to have a highlight to really top this one. And here it came from a penalty shot right near the end from Sam Gilbert and over it went to give them the victory here at St Andrews by 25 to 20.